Hi, welcome to Matt Connor. Oh, turn your turn your radio down, whoever this is. Hello. Hello, you're on the air. Hello, it's a uh, it's a father Bruno Sarducci. Father Bruno Sarducci, I haven't heard from you in a while. It's wonderful to hear oh, from you, uh, sir. Your friend Peter White is not here today. Oh yeah, you know I I, 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 I was watching your show yesterday. You know on the Facebook. Look at those big chat. arms. Yeah, I enjoy it very much. I enjoy it. Sorry, John was uh, talking uh, over... You, you, you're a little bit too tough on uh, Donald Trump. Oh, well, hello, that, guys. That's what I think. I, I, I'm a little too tough on uh, Donald Trump? Oh, yeah. So you're, too, you're too hard on the guy. He's doing his best. Right. And everybody's a hard man is good him. to find. Everybody's against him. And, uh, I'm not. You know, this is not the, the America that... Uh, I got a few relatives there. It's a different America now. They... They, they beat up on the president of the United States. I mean, it, it's crazy. It, it'd be like uh, beating up on the Pope or me. El Papa. What is his uh, approval rating in Rome? El Papa? Must be 100%. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's very high. You know, it's uh, like the Pope. You know, uh -oh. they're the same. They're like the same kind of leader. Where? The same kind of personality. <laughs> And, uh, Beyond. you know, I, I, I see this on uh, CNN, you know, new polls. It's all fake. It's mm. all fake polls, fake numbers. They're making it up because they just, they just, I, I don't know why, but they just did not like Donald Trump. Well. And he's doing so much. I mean, look at the American economy. It's, it's, a, it's a, like the envy of the world. Yes, yes, it is gangbusters. Look at the yeah. look at the American and, uh, census. Yeah, and it's not uh, doing so good in uh, Italy. I got to tell you, you know, mm. and we haven't had any growth in Italy for like you know, two hundred years. Oh wow! But you know, the don't, uh... Uh, always changing. But you know, the, but uh, the Catholic Church, uh, we're like a rock. We're we're mm. like a, the rock of Gibraltar. We we always make progress. We always have a good business in the Catholic Church. Hey, does the Vatican have uh, pu restrooms open to the public? Of course, we got restrooms open to the public. It's a big uh, tourist. Set. Who, who is this? Who is this? That's, that's a, a pro little, it's little a Protestant. Kid you got on the show? That's a, a Protestant. That, that's John Hopwood. And that reminds me, uh, Father. So I'm glad that you called today because we have in the studio here. So we have John Hopwood and EZG. And they're, you're both uh, congregationalists or some something yeah, like I, that, I, right? I, I, John go, C. I, go Hopwood. To, I go to a um, Episcopal church, too. Oh, right, yeah. So you, the, Well, that's traitorous. So you know, uh, Father Sarducci, <laughs> clearly it is too late to save me, but you have these other two gentlemen who are active churchgoers who, have, John who, C. Are, not, who are not attending the, uh, you know, the one true church, as, as even I know, uh, uh, yeah, would be yeah. the Catholic Church. So I don't know if you want to uh, address them in any way. Perhaps you can talk them into uh, returning. I'll take my headphones off again. Oh, no. Yeah. You know, I, I, actually, Matt. Uh, you know, I, I, I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. I'm an honest uh, priest. Yes. Ah! I gotta be honest with you, and uh, we don't uh, talk to heretics. Oh, you know? it's not allowed. Right. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, understandable. So I'm, I, I'm I got no advice for them other than, you know, they can find the one true God and uh, make a Jesus their personal savior. Jesus you know, is their personal fix savior. Everything. <laughs> And, you know, when Donald Trump was uh, talking to the Pope, uh, you know, he, <laughs> Donald Trump, is really, he's really a Catholic, you know. He, he's he, a Presbyterian. He being, you, know, uh, you know, with the Pope, because they're, they're the same. You know, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're very similar. Yes. Similar personalities, and, uh, of course, they're both infallible. I don't think Donald Trump's no Catholic. They, no they way. Both think, they both think they're God. No, he don't talk about it, because, you know, Saint it's not Francis. enough Catholics. not enough I think Donald, Trump's Trump's an Donald atheist. Trump, you know. But, I mean, in his heart, he's a, he's a Catholic. And, uh, he is. And, uh, you know, it's, the it's like the Peter White thing. You know, I never quite got over that, Matt. You know, the guy is telling, telling me that the, the priests are creepy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's very it's possible. It's nonsense. It's, very possible. it's slander. It, it, they it, lie, it's just too. making the stuff up. It's just fake information. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people attacking the Catholic Church. If anybody's a creepy out there, it's a Peter White. <laughs> Whoa! Well, I, I guess he guy, is. you know. And uh, he's got kind of wow. a you know, radio show. Nobody listens or anything. But uh, say that to you know, his he's face. A dangerous guy attacking the people that are trying to help 
everybody in the uh, world that's the Catholic except Church. Except hey, listen, you know, I told you before I, I was up for Cardinal. Yes, yes. And and uh, do you have some news for us, uh, Father Sarducci? Well, you know, it's down. It's down to only. It's down to only two people. One of them's a bishop, and the other one, I'm happy to say, Glenn? is me. The bishop you of know? Bob. Mm. You know, wow. you know. Uh, normally, you got to be a bishop before you could be a cardinal. But uh, you know, in my case, it's uh, it's like skipping a grade. You know, like uh, in second grade, bishop. I skipped to fourth grade because I could really do subtraction like a whiz a kid. Oh, I was really good at subtraction, and so I skipped a grade, and I'm on, I'm going to skip the whole bishop thing. And and uh, <laughs> what about know, archbishop? I'm, I'm, I'm very close. I got the pulpit in my corner, and uh, he's talking to a few people, you know. So I mean, who knows where this is going? I can't say for sure, but it's now we're down to two, and the other the other one, the Mexican. Oh, so I think I got a good chance, you know. The Pope, he, he he's like a Donald Trump. He, he don't like the Mexicans. Too many rapists down there. <laughs> so you're so you're wow. in. So you're in. And, you and have don't an forget advantage. the drug dealers. You know, there's a lot of drug dealers. Mexico's it's a country a big full country. of drug dealers and rapists and, and Catholics. Like, wow, that's a, like ninety yeah, so, nine you know, percent Catholic. I think I got a good chance. Uh, you know, you I, I know you're wishing me luck. I do, I do. I, I hope uh, the best for you, Father. Do you realize that the patron saint of all the Americas is a Mexican, Mother Guadalupe? Oh, right. I have, I have oh, statues yeah. of her. Well, you know, say a lot of things, uh, Mister Hop. What, what's your name? Hopstein. Hop, Hop blank. What's your name? That's yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, there's a lot of patron saints that I got to tell you, a lot of it, it's just political, you know. Mm -hmm. We got to include every country because, you know, the Catholic Church, like everything else, it's a business. We need revenue. And uh, we got to reward people. Every, every country's got to have their own saint. You know, I mean, yes. it, it's just. This illogical. is the Americas. What? This is the Americas. Obviously, your grasp. <sighs> Of uh, the ca Catholic uh, is specious. Did you just have a stroke? You have to be an archbishop before you're a cardinal. Did you have a stroke in the middle of that sentence? What no, happened it's there? A, it's a word that I, I cannot oh, uh, speak. Oh, okay. I didn't know what was going yeah, on. Yeah, Matt, I, I you, you got to do violence. a little better with your guests here. I'm, you know, a, I'm a deep rock priest. we got a few problems. we got the Peter White problem. You know, everybody knows what that is. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, now uh, we got uh, the, uh, you know, we got Hopstein here who can't even complete a uh, sentence. <laughs> you know, I, English is not in my native language. I'm, you know, I'm better than this guy. You need to get higher class uh, guests. guests on your show. Do you think it's who's uh, the guy in the, the tank top? What is that? Who, who is he? That's uh, EZG. Uh, he Eric was Agnes. the WWE oh, the guy that light didn't heavyweight think champ. I'm real. That I'm a real priest. 1989. That's the guy. Oh, you got to get rid of him. <laughs> He can throw you. He'll slam you get, against the turnbuckle. No, the guy spreading lies on your show, Matt. He's going to you slam know. your head you against the turnbuckle. You know, no, if no, you're going to be an important radio host, you're gonna then, get you know, rid of I you got to my own radio show mm. uh, that I host in Italy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm very, very careful about the people I let on my show. Yes. You, know, you, you can't uh, you can't fool around with that. You, you can't just let anybody in. I, I would... told you, you know, you, you got to be careful. You should remind you us. Be careful. Uh, you know, even in the priesthood, we got to yeah. be very careful. <laughs> the nuns. Oh. Everybody, you know, they're very closely scrutinized. Are you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Are you talking about titular Archbishop Oryx uh, when you're talking uh, about that? Mm. Come on, let's have some technical. I, I, I don't uh, even know where this guy is coming from. You know? <laughs> I can't even understand from him. The I, I think he's right, right, right. Right. He, he had a stroke on the air. You know, it's a shame. But anyway, let me tell you. You know, once we had a nun. Who's it Archiepiscopal? We had a nun. She's the Mexican, and they let her in, but it was a big mistake. She's coming on to the priests. Uh, oh no! You know, she's coming on to these guys. They're only human, you know. And uh, <laughs> we, you know, we lost a few priests. They had to be sent to some kind of, uh, you know, sex treatment center. <laughs> we got special ones for the And priest, where's you know? that? <laughs> oh they had God. to be sent yeah, to we a... We had to get rid of that dot. I mean, she was a problem. This sounds like some... Uh, she was, uh, she was uh, kind of cute, hmm. but, uh, you oh, know, you really? can't have that. You can't have that in the church. You can't corrupt the church. What? What we, is... we must maintain 
uh, that uh, vision Ooh. of superiority, moral superiority. That's oh where we God. are. Well, you have a reputation to protect, uh, Father, uh, with the church. What? Anyway, I, I just calling up to let <laughs> you know I'm still in the running for that uh, cardinal job. Yes. And uh, and uh, I've been trying on the red outfit. You know, I look great. I look great oh, in it. Great. What color um, is your pallium? Take a selfie and send it to you. Oh, that would be wonderful. What yes. color is your red pallium? Is, is my color, Matt. In fact, you ought to try it. Red? Ooh. Yeah, I think red might be your color, too. Uh, they, well, it is my favorite color. Uh, John Hopwood was asking, what color is your pallium? I don't even know what a pallium is. Let's hear uh, Mr. McCardle talk a, he, about he it. He thinks he's a smart guy, mm-hmm. you know, he can't even complete a sentence. I'm not even going to dignify that it's question with an wear. answer. You know, that's my, that, that's my answer to him. Uh, this it's guy, the mantle. He, he's, he's, he's dead to me now. Oh, I'm, my I'm goodness. Sorry. And hey. that Peter White guy, I never want to see him on the show again, Matt. Irredeemable, yes. is the nephew of Satan. I told you that last oh, time. Wow. You're not paying attention. Nephew of Satan. He's the ne- Peter White of the morning show is the nephew of Satan, according to Father Sarducci. Why? Because he's yeah, honest? Yeah. I would tell him that to his face on the face Facebook page. i tell him that, but he's not there. Thank God. <laughs> oh. Thank God he's not there today. You're making a little progress. But you got new guests. They don't know what's going on. You got the guy in the black tank top. He doesn't think I'm real. He thinks I'm like a fake, a priest, you know? Yes. But uh, he's I wrong. Use word he's wrong, but I, I don't care. I don't care. Right. But listen, I'm going to say goodbye now because uh, I got a couple of things to do and I got to prepare for my show tonight. Plug your show. And we're going to be discussing some very, very important topics. Like lusty uh, and, uh, nat- uh, nuns? And, and so i got to prepare. I don't want to sound stupid on the air. You, you, you understand that, you, right? you should plug your show, uh, Father. Yeah, you know, uh, you, and you should give me a call. You should tune in a little bit, you know, Matt. Yes. I know you're very interested in your own show. You know, you probably watch it. You watch the Facebook replay <laughs> five times a night or something, you know. I do. But uh, <laughs> you, know, you really ought to take a look at somebody who knows really what they're doing, you know. Right, yes. Like uh, Bruno Sarducci. Maybe I can finally get right with Jesus. That's the name of your show, isn't it? Maybe you need to get right with Jesus. Yes, Absolutely. Yes. A- absolutely. Yes. Get right with Jesus. And Get Right With God. Yes. That, that's yes. the name of my show, Get Right With God. Oh, I yeah. thought it was Get Right With Jesus. Okay. Well, did you change it? Maybe you changed it now that you're trying to, well, you know. Well, you know, it's kind of the same thing, you know, the Trinity, you know. Sometimes uh, Jesus is God, sometimes he's Jesus, you know. You know. Oh, the it's, Trinity, it's, right. It's, yeah. it's kind of the same thing. You right. Know? You know that. You want, you want to, you're a choir boy, right? Uh, no, I, I, I was Catholic, but I was I was no choir boy. Uh, you, you can't sing, huh? I can I can harmonize with others, but I can't sing on my own. But I never, uh, yeah, I was never a choir boy or an altar boy. I just uh, just wasn't motivated enough for any of that. <laughs> it may be just as yeah. well, Father, to be honest with you. I, you know. Yeah, but you, you know, when when you get old, when you get a little bit sick, uh, that's when people that's when people understand they got to come to God, they got to come to Jesus, and they got to get right. You know, yes. it's the only way. There's no salvation. You know. These other religions, you know, Catholic Church, so we, we got them all beat. Clearly. We got salvation, we got resurrection, mm-hmm. there's forgiveness. You know, you get to some of these other faiths, you know, it's just, you know, kill everybody, you know, except uh, our, our religion. You know, that, that's mm. the way they are. Oh, well. You know, so uh, the Catholic Church, big improvement over every other religion, and I know you're coming back, Max. Matt, I know you're going to get right. You're going to get right with Jesus. Yes. Okay, listen, that's all i got to say today. I'll be back soon. <laughs> all right, Father, and, and uh, good luck with your promotion. Jeez, what a coyote. Huh? Oh, there. So, uh, now, it sounds like he's moving uh, He's moving right up the ladder. He's going to beat the bishop and go right to Cardinal. I think that's oh, fantastic. Oh, uh, that's a... Uh, I think the guy's full of crap, yeah. <gasps> that's a vulgar... Uh, Did you hear him? Did you hear him? I heard you say beat the bishop. Did you hear what Easy G just said about a man of the cloth? That's a euphemism for masturbation. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you hear what? And that's a sin. Did you, you go blind? Did you hear what Easy G just? Oh, well, okay. Well, you do wear glasses. Did you hear what Easy G just said about? I heard what you Father said. Father Sarducci. You said to a, a man of God that he beat the bishop. Right. He's going. That's r- a master. That means no. He's going right to cardinal. That's what he said. He's not going to have to be a bishop first. I he's going he's straight to Cardinal. 
did, Easy G, did you hear what John Opwood <laughs> no, just said about a man of the cloth? I did not About hear a it. man of God. Beating, masturbating. Who, He's who masturbating calls, all of us. Who calls this known. show to try to save all of us from the pits of hell uh, and the lake of fire. I mean, it, it's probably it, a lost cause, I but think he's trying. I think we're definitely a lost cause. You do, oh, so you're already okay. So you're just fine with all of us going to hell. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess burn. I guess we know where you stand, Easy G. <laughs> you don't believe in hell, do you? Oh, I do. Why? Yeah, why? Hell is here right now. Oh, well, depends how you look at it. Well, according to Pat Benatar, hell is for children. True. Why is that? Is well, because it, it made her uh, a lot of money in royalty. Well, the song's about child abuse. Oh, it is. Yeah, and it is. Yes, you've been is. talking about masturbation. No, I have not. Yes, you, you brought it up. Uh, Michael Alber is in the Facebook live chat, says, Easy G in the hot seat? If he gets uh, halitosis, he'll have Triple H. Oh, referring to uh, Peter White. I definitely, uh, I have hepatitis. Yeah. Hepatitis and herpes, the double H. Yes, right? so if he has halitosis, he'll have Triple H. Uh, Rocky Huber says, yes, the Goldenrod song. Oh, he enjoyed our jingle. Uh, Bill Barry, how is he in two places at once? He says, Hoppy, Easy G, and Matt in the same room, celebrity overload. Beat the bishop, free dictionary, vulgar slang to masturbate. I don't know what you're... A uh... term only applied to men. Oh, his crush walked in on him beating the bishop. Oh, well, hmm. I, I, I used that all the time when I was a kid. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, oh, hello to uh, Roy Taylor in the Facebook live chat. Uh, Rhonda Ostrowitz Favero. Uh, Dr. Jeff Cassell is in there. Hello, doctor. Ask him if he beats the bishop. I, well, I, uh, let's <laughs> see. Uh, oh, hello to Ed Murphy, uh, Chris Penn. Uh, that would be a good name of a show, Beat the Bishop. Right, a show oh, about Lord. chess. Wow, uh, we'll make it to the tax-free church of mm, mm, rather mm, than mm. something good like, you know, the Catholic Church. Uh, Elaine Paradise is in there. And, of course, uh, Fred Bonig from the Daily Ripple. Uh, Jenny said, I uh, think he got into the sacramental wine. I wager that he has retreated to the shower so he can beat the bishop. Yet another. Uh, oh. I think you knew, you knew this all along. No, I, I'm, no. Yes. I know nothing of these matters. See. See. We should talk to but it is uh, important to maintain a healthy prostate. Do you I think do know uh, that. Guido Sarducci, the priest, talks with his hands? Or is he busy? Well, he is. Or uh, his hands busy? Oh, oh, oh he, I don't know what you're talking about beating the bishop. That was uh, uh, quite uh, frightening, the thing about the nun and all these uh, priests having to go to some sex treatment clinic or whatever. Sounds was, like uh, he watched a movie, softcore porn, from like 1979. Mm, yes, yeah. yes.